plaintiff, Joseph Young, says when he first got with the defendant, he thought she would be a one-night stand, but they ended up dating. Joseph claims after they moved in together, he discovered the defendant had a severe attitude problem, and he's suing her today for a laptop and car damages. Defendant Juana Patterson says after she started dating Joseph, she opened up to him about the fact that she had given a child up for adoption. Juana claims Joseph agreed to help her locate her child, but once he received an inheritance, he totally changed and stopped paying attention to her. Start with you. All right, uh, so I, I, I met her back in like 2011. <laughs> you see this, the attitude, right? The, this, this the whole problem. So I'm a female, what you mean? We met at a club, you know, out with the fellas, running to her. You know, we hit off, so I'm thinking, maybe we're gonna get a good little one night stand thing going, but. <laughs> Bought more than you intended to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, she she was all right. I ain't really get the- All the, right. You was all right. So I ain't get the really? whole little attitude thing until later on down the line. So, you know, we kicking it for about a year. I invited her to start coming over to my house, you know, to stay a little bit. So she ended up moving in. <laughs> she moved after in. After a year? Yeah, after all a year. All right, that's a reasonable amount of time. Some folks do two weeks. Go ahead. Two weeks. I think that's a little too short. I know. I'm saying some <laughs> folks do, are unreasonable enough to do it in two weeks, and then right. they come here and want me to straighten it out. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Judge, I moved in for two weeks. So I didn't know nothing about him, and I found out then he was on crack. <laughs> <laughs> Bust the he crack stole all move. my stuff. Uh, uh, Go yeah. ahead. So, so she moved in. Yeah, she moved when? in and whatnot. This was, I want to say, around March 2012. All right. And what was that like? It was cool at first. You know, she was on her job. She did her duty. She cooked. She <laughs> What's played. that mean? Man, what? What, what? what mean, job? I ain't you, trying to say it like that, but you know, you she said it like that. What you mean? Excuse me. Let him, let she him was speak. being a woman. I'm going to put it that way, if you don't mind. OK. Some but, people th would say you have a misunderstanding of what a woman should be, but you're not alone. So right. go ahead. So, you know, she she was cooking. She was cleaning. We was getting along fine. But, you know, this attitude came about when, you know, once we live together, you really kind of get to see a person face to face and know what they're about because it's every day. Well, some women just straight up switch up on you and yeah. men. Yeah, right. you know. Yeah, how you doing? Nice when you meet them and then you move in with them. They flip on you. Yeah, that's they flip no, on you. That's no strange phenomenon. Right. Go ahead. So, you know, about a year or so after this, I end up getting an inheritance from one of my family members who passed this away. This is one year after she moved in. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, she want to ask for some money by me being a good man that I am. You know, I buy her things and stuff like that. But okay. it got to the point where she um she wanted to get getting to just asking for money all the time. Like, I need money. I need money. I need money. And what do you need money for? You know? right, let me allow her to speak now. She's over here making strange noises. As now. always. <laughs> Go ahead. Man. Don't look like Go that. Go ahead, man. Um, Joseph was a cool, laid-back dude when we met, you know. It's like when he got that little money You talking changed. to him or me? I'm <laughs> talk to me. I'm going to talk to you, but I'm going to look at him. <laughs> he changed. You know, we've been together for two years. You know what I'm saying? I moved in after a year or whatever. But, you know, I had a secret that I, you know, wanted to tell that, you know, I wasn't comfortable, but I felt comfortable enough to, you know, express this to Joseph. You know, I had a child that was put up for adoption, mm -hmm. you know, when I went to jail or whatever, and he agreed to help me get a lawyer. It's like, once he got the money in his hand, things changed. Like, it was totally different from everything that he's proclaiming in to- In what way? It was, like, I felt like he was supposed to be ready to, you know, go down there to the attorney office with me. Like, okay, let's go get this process going because he know how, how I and felt about the situation. When you asked him? He was real nonchalant about it. Like, forget that. I ain't on that. Like, uh uh. Okay, he didn't say, I'm not going to do it or I am going to do it later. No. That All right, true. you want to make a comment on that? I told her that I would help her in any way that she need help. As long as she was willing to prove that she would change herself, I, you know, it's one thing to have a kid in the household, but when your when your mother, her being a parent, she ain't even trying to be a woman and better her life. What do I need to help her? What was wrong with her life? She didn't want to get up and work. She ain't want to do nothing. I mean, she sit around the house, weekends come, she want to go out, 
And Laugh. yeah, I'm supposed to help you get your child back when Laugh. you ain't even trying to get a job, go to school Laugh. or nothing. Laugh. Gotcha. You feel me? All right. Like, Makes sense. All right. What so, else, ma'am? I did have a job. I worked at Bella Moore, which is my cousin's establishment. You know right. what I'm saying? I was the manager there. I helped promote mm -hmm. everything. Okay. Do all that. He's lying okay. about that. I don't sit around and do nothing because okay. that's not me. Right. I like to get out and do stuff. I can't just. What sit else down. was wrong with the relationship other than that? Just, it's just when he got the money, he became a totally different person. Yeah, like that's he, what I'm asking you because he said he brought you a lot of things. No, he did. What did he buy me? I don't know. He said. I he buy, nah, he, that's a lie. Okay. I buy my own clothes. He don't even know okay. how to dress. Look at him. When he received his. <laughs> how he doing? Look sharp. Look at him. He look sharp. All right, that, that's in your eye, but. Sure. Thank you. All right. Good that you got on. <laughs> <laughs> so what you trying to say? All right. So, so what you trying to say? Let's get to the laptop <laughs> you're suing her for. This discussion, you know, after I got the money, this discussion went on, you know, it was several times she would ask me for money. And I'm like, can't do it right now. I got more important things that got to be taken care of, bills, things of that nature. Long story short, one night, she asked me for like three, four hundred. Nah, you ain't getting it. So, <laughs> and she want you, know, she very, very aggressive. You know, she get to cussing me out, all kind of stuff like that. So, she yeah, gets to I heard you look. say you went to uh, jail before, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well, for what? Assault. Okay. <laughs> Some folks do, are unreasonable enough to do it in two weeks, and then right. they come here and want me to straighten it out. Right. <laughs> yeah. I moved in with two weeks. So I didn't know nothing about him, and I found out then he was on crack. <laughs> Plaintiff Joseph Young is suing his ex-girlfriend because he claims during an argument she threw a laptop at him and then stole his car. You didn't give her the money. I ain't give her the and money. And then what happened? She get the cussing. She get the blowing up a little storm. She tried to swing on me. I ain't about to put my hands on no female. I back away from her. Next thing I know, she grabbed my computer that's on the desk, my little laptop, and she throw it at me. I move, my computer break against my wall. So in the midst of after that, she's still trying to fight with me. I get up out the way. She run out the door. She take my car. Now with my car, she gone for like three days. Why? I ain't it ain't nothing. a lie. You know it's the truth. Where did I she go for three days? I, I don't key. know. I, I called her. She ain't want to answer. That's I'm a, like, that's a binge. It is, but you asked you ask her what she was doing because I don't Still, got the You ever to known it. of her to smoke crack? Nah, I ain't known no smoke crack. I pray to God asking she did. Just three days, getting violent because you won't give her money. That's a lie. <laughs> Grabbing your car, run off for three days. You don't hear from her. Then how does she show up? Oh, she did show up. My car was just at my apartment complex that I stayed in. She just in. brought it back. Yeah. And left it. Left it. And my car had damages to the front end of it. That's your lawsuit is for the laptop and the car damages. That's correct. Ma'am, let me hear from you. He lying. I ain't lying. <laughs> he lying. I wasn't gone for no three days. You know it was three days. No, I wasn't no three days. Ma'am. a face you can trust. What do you want to tell me? He had his car back, and yeah, I did damage it. I hit a parked car, but I let the person know who car I hit. Did you get violent with him because he wouldn't no, give you money? No, 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 that's not the, no. What happened? No. He was real nonchalant about the whole case of the matter about my daughter, mm -hmm. about the attorney situation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had been real nonchalant to each other, silent treatment type thing, you know, mm -hmm. so I broke the silence and said, you know, what's going on? What's going on with our relationship? What are we going to do? Like, are you going to help me or what? Like, mm -hmm. so it's like, nah, I ain't got nothing for you and da da da. So I zoned out. I blacked out literally. Mm -hmm. So whatever was closest to me, I threw it. He lucky I ain't hit his head, because that's mm -hmm. what I was aiming what for. What up? Then you ran and took the car? I didn't run nowhere. I'm not a runner. You I walked, walked out Yeah, and took the car. I walked out. Okay. Run for what? Uh, yeah. Were you jailed for the last assault? Mm -hmm. what did they yeah, do? I went to prison for the last assault. How long? Nine months. You didn't have enough yet, huh? I mean. He should have sent you to prison, too. You act like you belong in prison. <laughs> Maybe. That's where you belong. No, I don't. That's where I belong. In fact, you would look better today if you said you were a crackhead. Oh. Are you a crackhead? We'll feel sorry for you then. You a crackhead? You smoke crack? <laughs> what I'm just saying, so people feel a little better about you. Feel a little so, better oh, about me? It ain't sorry. about no yes, crack, because no right drugs. now, you look like a violent criminal who needs to be in prison. 
That's what you appear to be Must today. Must be deceived, uh-huh. No, you've admitted. You've served nine months in jail. Now today you admittedly threw a laptop at him. Then you steal his car Ste and damage his car. Yes, that makes you sound like a criminal that needs to be in prison. <laughs> you have your receipts. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. It's better. You just sound like a crackhead. <laughs> All right. You have your receipts. Judgment for the plaintiff, $2,931. I'm so proud that you maintained you, yourself, God. that you didn't fight like a lot of men would. All right. Good luck to you. Thank Judgment you. for the plaintiff. You happy now? Go to hell. You. Me too. Kiss my grits. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. <laughs>